This is KCCK's Culture Crawl. I'm Dennis Green, and my guests today are from the upcoming Theater Cedar Rapids production of the musical Billy Elliot, Tad Paulson and Angie Toomson. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, nice to see you both. Angie, you're the director of the show. I you've been, am. You've been, you've been, you've been, we, we've hung out many yeah, times. Yeah, have been here. Um, but this is, uh, how, many, how, many sh- how many shows have you directed this oh, year gosh. so far? You know, I used to keep count. And then the other day I said, oh, I should keep counting. I, I think I've directed about, oh, this year or yeah, in general? Yeah, well, either. <laughs> it's been a big year. I think this is my fourth show this wow. year. So it's a lot. And, uh, <laughs> and, you, and I know that uh, you've had to change gears a lot yes. in the different shows that yeah, you've done, too. Yeah, that's kind of standard operating procedure yeah. for <laughs> every story's different, and there are certainly overlapping themes, but, you know, Have you Einstein dra- to dan- a little dancer boy in <laughs> England. Right, exactly. <laughs> shift, yeah, uh, yeah the, uh, the Einstein show at yeah. Riverside Theater, which mm-hmm. was just fabulous. Thank you. Um, yeah. But, the, yeah, very, very different. Uh, this mm-hmm. is a very different show, much bigger show. Have you done many musicals? Yeah. I'm trying um, to look back, trying to think back over our conversations how not many many um i believe this is my my third or fourth third um i will say you know i've done a smaller ensemble musical next to normal chorus line which is sort of big but this is this kind of takes the cake for me it's got 38 people um it's just much more complex and i'm loving it i have a amazing co-directing team that's the only way I would be able to pull it off. <laughs> a lot yeah. of moving parts in yeah. this show. And uh, Tad, you're one of the actors in the show. You play Billy's dad. Mm-hmm. And uh, you want to lean in just a little okay. bit more there. <laughs> and uh, do you want to give us the, the thumbnail sketch of the plot? Sure. It's set in the mid-1980s in northern England. And uh, it's County Durham, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And um, it's just at the beginning of a coal miner's strike against Maggie Thatcher's government. And... Um, so the the town that it's set in is kind of beginning to come to grips with the strike and in the midst of all of this kind of political turmoil um here's billy elliott who wants to kind of discovers by accident that he really loves to dance and it's sort of about Mm -hmm. how his family copes with that and how he comes to realize that dream that he has and it's kind of sort of based on a true story yes yeah um it's the the where we've where we are now because there's been a, a musical or there's been a movie then then different iterations of the musical so what we're doing is pretty divorced from that origin story but but yes there was a a little boy that danced. little boy yeah. in coal country yeah. who, who became, <laughs> became a dancer yeah the yeah. bones the, yeah. the the bones yeah. are true yeah. and of course the well it sounds like there's uh familiar with the story but it sounds like there are a couple of different layers of conflict and things like that to deal with. You've got the kind of fish hour water story of the boy from the blue collar family who wants to be a dancer, Mm -hmm. but set against the backdrop of the political scene, which has got to have some interesting echoes right now. Uh, Oh, I knew uh, knew you were going to ask that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, it is, it it was a very, very divisive moment in British history. Um, and so, absolutely. I mean, there's this this fight between, you know, the authority and these union workers, and it was very violent and very heated. And there were kind of sub conflicts. I mean, even within the miners and within the establishment. And so, it was just a really like hot time. And it changed. You know, after that the country's identity kind of changed and shifted forever so it's it's a really neat place to sort of situate this story of a little boy who has to figure out who he is and just kind of let this world fall away that's falling away anyway you know so yeah dad tell me a little bit about the character of jackie Jackie is in a pretty tough place in his life. He's got a lot of responsibilities. He's a widower, and he he very much misses his wife, and I think he's still processing that loss, perhaps not as productively as he should be. Uh, he's a single lots of beer, lots of beer. <laughs> <laughs> he's a single dad. Dad's and, a method actor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he's a single dad, so he's got Billy obviously, and then he also has a teenage son named Tony who is rebellious he's kind of um you know kind of feeling that teen spirit Mm -hmm. thing and um and then he also has his mother living with him who's kind of on the verge of dementia 
So he has all of those home responsibilities that are weighing on him. He's the, sa- the, 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 the true sandwich generation. Exactly, mm-hmm. yeah. And then he's trying to be part of the, the strike as well because he feels very passionate about that. But So he's got a lot of burdens placed on him. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the music in the show. Well, it's um, Elton John wrote the score. Um, it's got... It's, it's kind of got a variety of things, um, and certainly our amazing musical director, Ben Schmidt, would be able to <laughs> tell you more about it, but um, it's very piano-driven. Um, there's just like a mix of rock, some jazz, some, you know, just, um, it's powerful. Um, at times, it kind of, you know, that, that feeling like you may have seen Les Mis, you know, just that kind of wall of ensemble sound. We have this amazing ensemble, just like front to back, incredible voices, and it's it's one of the many just special strengths of the show. And so it it kind of goes between just delicate, lovely, beautiful, melodic um, you know solos, and then this these powerful um, ensemble numbers. And yeah, that's it, the music itself. Just the score itself is just gorgeous and and captivating i think well as the yeah. the young man in the title role of course mm-hmm. wants to be a dancer yeah uh, that's puts a, <clears throat> probably a lot of pressure on him to dance really well yeah fortunately he does dance very well um we i don't know what kind of cosmic theater gods are looking down on us but we were delivered a amazing young dancer who it, it, he has the chops it's no you know, um, I I believe Jesse probably will be a professional dancer, and if he wants to do something else, that's great too. But he's just it's some it's amazing to see him do the things that he does in the show. There's yeah. and how how old is Jesse? Um, he's eleven. Okay, yeah. so that's a that's that's a lot. You know, dancing aside, how do you? Uh, you know, what's it like, you know, working with an actor of that age on whose shoulders so much of this show rides? Well, again, um, and this is my first time working with, um, you know, kids. I actually haven't directed kids before. And so I was intimidated coming in. You know, what if what if I can't keep control of them and things like that? But um, a- again, Jesse and his um, other actors that, that he works with are so mature and um just so thoughtful and kind and respectful and Jesse in particular has a very like he's he's kind of a little bit of a prodigy (laughs) just not just in terms of dance but just in terms of sophisticated thought and understanding about what's happening on stage he's never acted before and he's never sung before and you you will not like there's no way you'd know that (laughs) it's just somehow just happened so yeah Talking with Angie and Tad about Billy Elliot, the upcoming show at Theater Cedar Rapids, which opens at the end of this month, correct? Mm -hmm. June 30th. Um, So what is, uh, I I warned you ahead of time that I was going to say, without spoiling anything, Mm -hmm. what's your, what's your, you know, as you're put as the show's coming together, what do you think is your favorite or standout moment? Oh, it's so hard because I just sit there and in love with so much of this show. Um, So it's just like one thing after the other, but um, the thing that just comes to mind that's so unique and special about the show is seeing, um, you know, some of the dance solos for Billy because it's something that we just don't see on the TCR stage ever that I know of is just that kind of aptitude for, for dance. And it's in, when we're in the rehearsal hall, people might be on their phones or chatting if they're off stage, but everything is just like silent whenever he's rehearsing because I think everyone's just completely in awe that somebody can can do this so so there's that but then additionally just you know like the moments between Tad and Jesse um are just so touching and beautiful I think the struggle that Jackie's going through and his transformation um he really he he makes a leap personally that you know, not all fathers would make, unfortunately, you know, in the face of, of a son who wants to do something like this. And it's just beautiful to see that shift. Um, so I do really love the moments when he, you know, changes his mind and changes his mindset about things. 
Now, of course, the show is set in England, and uh, Tad, Angie says that we have to ask you to give us just a couple of lines of Jackie of Jackie and his uh, his dialect. Uh, well, it's for it's we're first time, like you know, so it's, it's kind of I can't do it on the spot. Yeah, no, you're, that was good. That was yeah. good. It's called you the know. Geordie dialect. It's it's, oh, okay. it's got a little bit of this kind of Irishy sound. Yeah, it's walking, uh, going. You know, uh, yeah. It, it comes out sometimes just when I'm talking to people, but it, that probably sounds more <laughs> Irish. You know, I'm going Irish Scottish this morning. <laughs> nice. Well, uh, and of course that is replicated. Yeah, that's the other thing you have to work at. You have to get everybody yep, in line. Yeah, so many so, layers. So you don't have you don't have somebody doing Irish, somebody doing Scottish, somebody doing Ringo Starr. <laughs> Ringo Starr. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, when we're on stage, it all it seems all... to mesh. Though it's, it's yeah, there's well, a nice consistency. A lot of moving parts, a big show, mm-hmm. but it sounds like it's coming together and uh, can definitely is. be a theater highlight of the summer. Again, the show is Billy Elliot opens June 30th, and if people want tickets, they can go to the Theater Cedar Rapids website, which is theatercr.org. All right, Angie Toomson and Tad Paulson. Uh, good luck with the rest of the rehearsal project, and hope you have a successful run. Thank you Thank very you, much. Dennis.